So root, what is this? What is all this? This is stuff from the from the paratroopers. From Operation, Operation Market Garden. Seriously? Yeah. Oh my god. This is all authentic, right? This is all authentic. This yeah. is amazing. Okay. And so the reason that this museum is so special is because you, you tend to have things that you would not normally have in another museum. You have a lot of German. A lot of German stuff, yeah. It's amazing. Germany, so. so in Germany you can't even have anything no. with the swastika, but no. this, this particular flag was liberated from what? Uh, Normandy. But a church, you know, church somewhere in Normandy. That's amazing. This guy here is actually the authentic uniform when they jumped for Operation Martin Garden. True. Yeah. And this is the American uniform? Or is this a British one? Looks like the American. This is the surrender of the British troops, Operation Mark Garden. This is a great diorama. This is fantastic. And again, this is all um, authentic um, from uh, the actual battle. So this is kind of special. You see this picture here? This gate here uh, is going across here, and this gentleman's head is impaled on it. Um, if you come over here, you can actually see the original gate. Sure. And that's the original hole. It's a sort of representation of the picture which is over there. This one. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Oh, okay. So wait, this was in Hitler's bunker? Yeah. No, in it, one of Hitler's, uh, yeah, where he's, he stayed. Okay, this is amazing. So this is actually, you're showing me the resistance area here, and that's actually where they would hide things, like in the toilet or something like this. Mm -hmm. And so if I'm a typical German, I'm just walking by, and I'm like, oh, and then all of a sudden you can, this is a door from this, House, so like a hidden, hidden room. That's amazing. So this is all the resistance stuff as well, and the Dutch resistance is amazing. During the whole year, you have like flowers or some parts that I give color or it doesn't make it look boring, you know? This place is so immaculate and clean and organized. This is a, um, a uh, airborne center. And it's so well done. Beautiful place. So this was the drop zone when they were coming in from the, uh, the sea. Horses were dropping here. Okay, John. So where are we looking? Like off in this direction? Where? Where? Where is Asia? Uh, if you see the path that the people walking to, yeah. you bear a little bit to the right. Yeah. Then this is So okay. this is the shortest route. So they they flew over the ocean, over Utrecht, Central Holland. They jumped here behind the trees of where they wanted to hide the fields. So all of this area here is the landing area. Yeah, drop zone. That's amazing, you guys. Okay, and then straight ahead, 
where this path is. That's where their mission was, to go through the forest and all the way to the bridge. Yeah, they walked all the way there, so all the way back where we basically came from. So yep. Some went, of course, through the forest, but uh, most of them went to Straight, so straight from the city center to, 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 toward the bridge. This location we are to the John Forest Frost Bridge yeah. is how far? It's like uh, 27 kilometers something. So it's like 18, 20 miles. Okay. And then they had to walk that distance with all their pack and everything. With all these heavy batteries, uh, jumping equipment, uh, uh, leg straps with extra ammo, rifles, uh, uh, and of course they had some equipment dropped from the gliders, some, some jeeps, but you know, especially not enough for like 2,000 uh, troops. So. And all of these forests here had flat guns uh, from the, the Germans. The Germans surrounded it, yeah, so uh, 1,200 of them from the 1900, yeah, 1,200 of them died in the first two days. The drop, you know, like... Um, uh, Next to us here, this is uh, yeah. at Arnhem. The Americans dropped here, so just above Eindhoven, and needed to make their way all the way up past Nijmegen to go to the John Frost Bridge to, you know, to, to capture the bridge. But if they didn't manage, so uh, that's why they call it the, a bridge to fall. Made it there happen. So this would be the Band of Brothers, the 101st, right? Yeah, the 101st came till here. So drill right here. Yeah, here, so. That's the crossroads uh, in one of the episodes as well. That's it. It's right in front of the And here, you can actually see the Germans shooting at the paratroopers. And this is the same uh, forest that we're in right now. Yeah, it's the, it's the edge of the forest. They were actually waiting to gun them down. And uh, the, the reconnaissance only said that the, the Germans in Holland would be you know, old men and children. Yep. Okay, you guys, so you remember in Bandit Brothers, there's the uh, amazing scene it's called Crossroads, and this is where we are right now. And my guy, John, is going to explain something to you. So, John, this is the, this is a, a dike here? Yeah, if you, if you remember the scene, they just, they, uh, they uh, found some Germans, you know, uh, holding holding the line. They went over the dike, yeah, and uh, in the distance where you see uh, yeah, the bushes in the, in the middle of the field, that's where they actually deployed the mortar rounds. And then uh, winters, you know, big winters uh, ran up this field, throwing smoke, you know, ran up this field all the way here, hopped over the dike. Yeah, so that's actually here. Hopped over the dike. Down the other side here, you actually, where the tree stands now, uh, you actually shot the, the first German. And the whole division was across, so if you go to the right a little bit, then the whole division came over the hill because there's a village behind it. They came across this hill, yeah. and that's when they started screaming, it's a whole nother division! Yeah. Got it. That's amazing, yeah, right? And they were sh shooting at the uh, Italian headquarters down the road, so it's like uh, where this old, there's a brick company now that makes bricks. Wow. I bet if you guys even were to do like metal detectors in here, you'd probably even find shell cases yeah. and that kind of stuff. That's amazing.